God bless you. You were gonna. We we had you sneeze all over the world here. You're gonna be able to pick this up. Okay, Olivia. What we notice in the club fitting is that the club face is closed at impact by the cross mark going across the club, and we see that the ball wanders slightly across the face. I see a lot of very nice things in your technique, and let's point those things out right now. Your setup is very good. It's stacked, and it's somewhat centered. You have a tendency just to lean slightly to the left, and your spine tilt is slightly off, and that comes from sometimes playing in bad weather and, bad, and, and wind, which you have quite a bit in your country. Okay, so that's not a fault in general, but uh, you correct yourself as you move back. And what we're going to see as we start to move back, you do a very good job at turning. The right knee stays stable, the foot is in. You might early turn your hips slightly, but nothing major. You have a beautiful transition, you change direction here beautifully. This is a sign of power. And we'll see the same movements in Tiger, you'll see the change of direction the same way. Okay, that's excellent. The other thing I love about your golf swing here is that your right arm gets underneath. You're slightly hung back right here, just slightly. And what this does is that when you come down, you'll see right in here, he's getting his right shoulder just a, a little more forward coming into the ball. So what this will do is this will make you bottom the club out a little bit early. It will make the club head release a little more closed. So occasionally you might fight a snap hook or might hit it thin. Something may come into that nature where the ball will go low or maybe even a push up to the right, just depending on whether or not you get stuck. The plane from behind will tell us. The grip lines up beautifully in the impact, very much the same way. The only thing that I see here is that with a little hung back and at the feet and the weight gets on the heel quickly, so your feet slide, so you lose the ability to keep energy clean through the ball. The energy kind of breaks sometimes. Okay, and then the feet will spin. If you notice the footwork now, we'll see the foot moving forward and in. This drives the ball forward. This is why you counteract and tilt your body to the left. So you make a move in your setup to counteract the fault in your leg work and your footwork through the swing. You see that? Okay. So now with soft equipment, you might be doing that because of the equipment. So if you change the equipment, you may not like it because it's matched more for the other type of swing. Okay, so now let's take a look at down the line here. Beautiful setup. I love the way the arms hang back of the tricep, knee, ball, the foot. You have so many good things in your golf swings. Very nice. Okay. Back swing plane gets a, just a little out and a little disconnected. And what I mean by that is with the early turn of the hip, your arms are moving further away from where your lower body is. So sometimes that makes the tightness get a little loose. Let me explain here. I'll explain that to you a little later. Okay, we have slight lift. A little bit too much right arm showing right here, too much right bicep, and this is what lays the club off at the top. Now, do you have any wrist or shoulder injury or anything like that? Okay, then we shouldn't have any problem. So here we see the left arm more across the chest. Hard to see the right bicep here. Do you see that? Elbows nice and low. Okay, so then from here. You're going to have to make an extra move where your arm runs down your chest and then you leave the elbow behind. So if you look at the elbow, it's actually behind the seam of your shirt. Notice how his elbow is in front of the seam of his shirt. So it's slightly off on the sequence from this down the line move. That's where the, the legs and the feet have a tendency to twist down the bottom. Are you following my Icelandic? <laughs> Okay, so this is why you shut the club a little bit here. And then the path pushes out a little further to the right with the face shutting down. So it makes your swing slightly handsy, is what it does. So being slightly closed here, hanging back, and, re and, and slightly reversing with the club uh, uh, makes the ball fight somewhat inconsistent. If your timing is good, you'll play great. But if you get a little fast or a little slow, that might cause the ball to curve more. 
just sound familiar? Yeah. Okay. And if you notice the finish, look how high the club finishes with your arms up in here. So as we see Tiger, that arm should fold right around, and that creates a more consistent plane and a release of the club. It is not far off. It's very close. Your coach has done a phenomenal job with you, and it just needs to be cleaned up and then matching the flex of the, of the equipment is all it needs. Okay? You're very close. All right? Does that help? Yeah.